Welcome to our tech troubleshooting series. Today we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when working with Firebase Cloud Messaging. Our viewer is trying to send a push notification to a device group using Firebase Cloud Functions, but they're running into an error. The response indicates a success status, yet it also shows a failure with the message invalid registration. Let's dive into the details and see how we can resolve this. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answers, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. The error in valid registration indicates that the registration token you are using is not valid. This can happen if the token is malformed or if it has been deleted. First, let's check the value of the group ID variable. Ensure that it contains a valid device group registration token. You can verify this by logging the value before sending the notification. Next, ensure that the device group has been created correctly and that the devices are registered under this group. You can do this by checking the Firebase console or using the Firebase Admin SDK. Finally, if you are still encountering issues, consider regenerating the device group token. This can be done by adding or removing devices from the group, which will refresh the token. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To send messages to a device group easily, use the admin.messaging send to device group method. Check the Firebase guide for sample code and instructions. If you're encountering an invalid registration error, it might be due to an incorrect group notification key. Ensure you're using the correct key returned when creating the device group. For more details on error codes, refer to the Firebase documentation. Specifically, ensure the registration token format is correct and matches what the client app receives. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. When you encounter the invalid registration error in Firebase FCM, it usually means there's an issue with the registration token. Each token is linked to specific sender IDs. Make sure to use the correct sender ID when sending messages. To fix this error, simply add an HTTP header called Project ID with your sender ID when sending messages to the client app. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're encountering the invalid registration error in Firebase FCM, it usually means you're using the wrong token. This can happen if you have a new registration token but are still using the old one. 
make sure to update any libraries that might be storing the old token. Another reason for this error could be conflicts between different Firebase messaging service implementations in your app. Only one service can handle the new token, so check your Android manifest.xml to ensure there's no conflict. If there's a conflict, one service may not receive the correct token, leading to the invalid registration error when you try to send messages. Always ensure your services are set up correctly. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you encounter the invalid registration error in Firebase FCM, it means your token is either invalid or expired. A simple fix is to uninstall the app, then reinstall it to get a new token. For more detailed information, you can check the Firebase documentation on cloud messaging. And that's it guys. We've gone through, found the solutions, and hopefully answered your query. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, hope you have a good one. Cheers.